You know it's a dead giveaway because I'm wearing the same exact clothes and the same hat and the same everything as the last video that I'm definitely filming this exactly after filming that. But today we are going to be unboxing something amazing. Something I got in the mail while I was on those fun work trips I've been taking. A game I've been waiting for a long time to play. Um, I've said this many times, I'm going to say it again while I unbox this thing just in case you didn't hear it. Not a strategy RPG guy. I fell in love with Project Triangle Strategy. I thought it was amazing. The demo was super good. So good, in fact, that I had to import the Grimoire Edition. And today, that's what we're doing. We're unboxing the European Grimoire Edition of Project Triangle Strategy. I guess it's just Triangle Strategy now, but you get it. Let's go. So I have been looking forward to this game ever since I played the demo. It was like, to me, for new viewers of the channel, um, but I, I have said this many times on the channel, I am not a strategy RPG guy. I have said it specifically about several games, up to and including freaking Final Fantasy Tactics, which like everybody loves. So I really, you know, I liked the idea of this game, but I wasn't really going to go out of my way to do anything crazy. Then I played the demo, and holy crap, I beat everything you possibly could in the demo. I got all the characters to their max demo level, which was like five. I upgraded all of their gear the best you can in the demo. I was hooked. So I had to get this game, of course. But then in America, all we got was the regular version. And you know, I have the Octopath Traveler, like big box, cool book edition. And when I saw that Triangle Strategy was getting the same thing, the Grimoire edition, I had to get it, but you have to import it. Um, luckily, I have a few friends on the channel who live over in Europe and have helped me get games in the past, but this time I actually didn't have to employ that strategy. Uh, Amazon um, UK actually let me buy it straight from them. So uh, I'm actually interested to see what's in this guy, just like I'm sure you guys are. But also, just as a, as a quick side note, in America um, at GameStop, if you pre-ordered, you got some sort of card pack thing. I don't know what's in here. I shouldn't have gotten this, obviously. But I have some friends who work at a GameStop who set me aside one. So I haven't even opened this yet. So let's open this first together. Ooh, I don't want to tear it. But it looks like it wants me to tear it. Let's see if I can be a little bit more skillful with the blade. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Uh, well. I tried. Ah, jeez. There. There we go. That's how you destroy this thing. <laughs> anyway. God. Okay, so, if you pre-ordered from GameStop in America, you got these, uh, they, I guess it says, character card set. So, um, yeah, kind of neat. It has, oh, it just has, like, the whole group, and then kind of talks about them. So, I guess it has each character. They're kind of holographic. That's cool. So, Sarah Noah. Ro oh, and look on the back, it has like their sprites. That's cool. So, Roland, your best friend. Benedict, he's like the uh, retainer kind of guy. Um, this is your your beautiful bride. Her retainer. Uh, the assassin chick. She's actually like my favorite character in the game so far. Um, this is the hawk girl, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this is the shield bearer guy. He wasn't someone I really cared too much for as far as like skills, but I know he's gonna be useful in the game being that he can draw aggro. Um, I'm just never like, <laughs> when it comes to like in the odd chance of this one where I like to strategy RPG, I'm not trying to be the defensive player, but I do know that you have to. So anyway, that's pretty neat. Um, but here is the, the Grimoire edition. Comes in this box here. It tells you everything on the back, but we're gonna look into that ourselves. But yeah, you open it up and it comes in a grimoire, so to speak. So this is a thin paper kind of sleeve, so just so you know. But the box itself is that kind of nice chipboard. Not the really thick chipboard, but it's still decent. Uh, oh, and it does the magnetic thing. So here's the box itself. And you can feel the kind of magnetic attraction to it. So it looks like you get a steel book, which is always cool. A little heavy, is there something in it? I don't think so, no. But it does have all the sprites, and a lot of sprites for characters that I haven't seen yet, so I'm going to not spoil myself. But you have the main four characters, and you also have the scales on the back, which is very an important part of the game. And you have the game itself, and under the box you have a, let's see here, a poster. 
Oh, it's a small poster. Okay, so if you do it wide, it has all the sprites again. Once again, I'm not gonna look too much at this because I don't wanna spoil myself. And it has a kind of kind of tall boy on the back, so that's cool. Um, and then here are the stuff that came with the with the Grimoire Edition. I think these are just regular cards. Let me try to open it. I think these are just like regular playing cards. They are. So there's regular playing cards with the characters on them, which is pretty cool. I don't really think I need to delve too deep into that. Um, but here is something. This is heavy. Really heavy. So it says Triangle Strategy obviously and god these are heavy it's dice oh look at that whoa individually bagged dice and they are heavy like i said each one of them is one to six and they're in roman numerals um they're like metal <laughs> and they're all actually different material too let me try to get one out for you so you can see it a little better yeah these are definitely metal Look at that. Wow. It's pretty cool. Each one's a different material, it looks like, or at least a different color. So you kind of got like a bronzish one. Um, this one's kind of more gold, a uh, white one. And uh, yeah, so very cool. And that also speaks to why this little bag was so heavy. Jeez. Um, let me put these back in there. Boop. And close her up. Back the way. You were intended. Cover you up. Cover you up. So, let's see the game itself. I mean, I get the feeling this is probably just whatever the standard edition is, which means probably no book or anything, but, I mean, you never know. One thing I just noticed, though, there's a little Nintendo, like, strip on here. Kind of weird. I've never seen that before. Is it something I could tear off? Huh. Oh, look at that. That's new. Huh, I don't even need you, stupid blade. Go away. That's new. I have not seen that before. Very cool. I don't know if that's going to be common from now on or what, but very neat. Anyway, here's the game itself. Uh, pretty cool reversible art. Since I imported it, it's going to have a Peggy rating rather than an ESRB rating. Um, but it actually has no rating on the case. I don't know if that's specific to this version or not. But uh, still very interesting. But yeah, that's everything you get in this edition. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stash the aforementioned cards in the uh, in the case. And you know what? I have a second one. So they're both going in there. How about that? Well, cool. I am currently going to go play this game. But um, yeah, that's the, uh, that's the deal. That's the unboxing. That's the Grimoire edition. Let's just slide her back in. And that's going to look real nice on the shelf. So that is that. I hope you guys liked checking that out. I would talk more about the game, but honestly, I've only so far gotten to play the demo. Now that I have the game, I can actually play it. And this game is going to sink a lot of time. So, uh, you know, if we're going to do a, a TLDR for a review, um, I hate strategy games. This game has caught my attention and it was very addictive in the demo. So I can say that as someone who doesn't play these kind of games, I can recommend it. Uh, you know, we'll see what happens. If something changes, I'll make an update video. I don't know, but I'm expecting to have a good time. But let me know what you guys think down below, because this game's actually been out for a while. And, you know, so I'm late to the party. Like, you guys who are playing it or were interested in playing it, probably already beaten it. But, uh, you know, let me know. Let me know what you thought about the game, because, you know, or let me know what I'm in for. Like, no spoilers if you if you can. But, um, yeah, let me know down below what you think of the Triangle Strategy game, because I cannot wait to jump into this thing. And that's going to do it for us today, guys. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't, please do. That would be very cool. But as always, my friends, take it easy.